Okay, it's beer o'clock again on the Real Ale Guy. I'm joined by Bill Dobson, the head brewer of Brains Brewery in Cardiff, Wales. We're going to be reviewing the brand new Atlantic White from the Brains Craft Brewery. Um, Bill, what do we have here? Um, well, Atlantic White is, um, is a beer that I call it a hybrid beer. Yeah. yeah. So it's a bit of one beer style and it's a bit of another that we've sort of melded together. Um, so it is based on a Belgian wick beer, so it's brewed with a Belgian wick beer yeast. Right. Um, we're using coriander and, um, and and some orange peel in there to give that wick beer character. Um, and it's got wheat in the in the grist as well. But on top of that, we put some American hops. Not a massive amount, but just something to give it a difference. Bit of balance. And to give it a difference from a traditional Ameri um, um, Belgian wick beer. Um, I tasted beers like this um, on a trip over to the States last year um, and I wanted to brew my own variation of this type of hybrid beer. Um, so I've called it a white IPA, um, whether that's right or wrong, it's a hybrid style beer but um, I'm really pleased with the result. Fantastic. Let's get the clarity up to the camera then. Um, beer in the glass is a very light pale coloured beer, nice carbonation in this one. Yeah. But it's, nice it's unfiltered, it's unpasteurised, it is, you know, it is as it comes. It's cake beer, but it's, it's unfiltered, unpasteurised. Love cake beer. Um, it's, it's a nice temperature as well. I'd say six, seven degrees. Yeah. Yep, yeah. yeah, okay. Let's get a nose on this beer. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. I'm picking up a mixture of the malt, really nice malty texture, and the bubblegum. I always pick up a bubblegummy kind of Belgium flavour with the beer in the, in the nose. Definitely picking up that coriander. Yeah. Definitely there. And the some of the some of the orange as well, you can just pick up that um, that orange on yeah. the coriander. Mixed with the that classic I always pick up a spice in a Belgian male. That I, I would say it was a spicy orange nose yeah. with the coriander. Yeah. Pass with this one, I gotta get into this. Cheers everyone. Lovely classic Belgium Ziggy carbonation from the last with, yep. the, with the keg. Um, and I think carbonation really suits a beer yeah. like this because it just sort of lifts it. There's, a, there's yeah. a sweetness behind the beer, and you just need to lift that carbonation. Just just sort of lifts it and picks it up and, and makes it sort of zing on the on, on the, the palate the really. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, and the, the the hops, you know, this is this is more bitter certainly than a um, than a Belgian. Whip beer would be, um, and then there's the hops start to come in in the aftertaste as well, yeah. and they just complement the flavours that are already there from the coriander um, and the orange peel as well. So they're not overpowering, they're not dominating the beer, they're just really just um, lifting it really and, and giving a bit of a final refreshment. Yeah, definitely. That's, um, there's a lot of flavours in this, so it might take a few mouthfuls to, to pick up everything in this beer. It's a nice complex one. Definitely orange peel in the taste with the spice, the coriander. It's very, very light and refreshing at the same time. You really could, at 6%, you really could. It's a bit of a dangerous one, isn't it? Would you say you could really, really enjoy this one? If, if you've moved the lawn or if you've been out for a bike ride or something, <laughs> you really could. Oof, a 10 minute job with this. If, 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 what do you think? Um, always ring responsible. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, I, you know, it's very drinkable, very six percent beer, you know, and um, I like producing drinkable beers, really, you know. Yeah. And you know, it's one to. We've got it in a three thirty mil bottle. Um, we're going to have that on on sale um, through some of the local uh, local bottle shops in uh, in the next month or so. Um, and. Um, you know, 330 mil bottle goes down very nicely on any occasion. Yeah, definitely. I think it pairs really nicely with food as well. Um, but uh, um, like you say, um, be a nice, nice summer beer as well. You yes, might have to do beer. some more for the summer. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, just to touch quickly on food, um, what would be a Belgium kind of food to match with this beer? Well, all the Belgians eat chips and mayonnaise, oh, isn't it? Brilliant. Yeah, that's fantastic. Sorry, sounds good enough to me. Let's go down Caroline Street. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for joining me, Bill. Um, I'm going to rate this beer now. 
I really like it. Um, I, I agree with Bill on this one. I think with it, the keg, the carbonation has really helped to give that beer a nice zingy, just to push the flavours around your palate and really let them explode on your tongue. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 beer on the Real Ale Guide. Again, thanks for Bill for joining me on this one. Cheers. Thanks for watching and cheers.